buffalo. They often have a few siestas, normally first uh, thing or just before the sun has risen, you'll see them sleeping in. And because I think it was a bit chilly today, they've decided to stay a little bit, they'll seated for a little bit longer. And there's a nice dam close by. They can go and have a couple of drinks of water, eat all the grass. And then by the time 12 o'clock comes, it's siesta time again. And they'll find themselves a nice shady spot. So like I said, not uncommon for these guys to be sitting around and relaxing. But also see, look how they've strategically are sitting in the same spot. Some facing towards us, others looking towards the west, towards the south, towards the north. Just keeping each other's backs. And it's very, very important when you are sitting down in a herd. Because you're at a disadvantage now. You can't see as far because you're well lower down in the grass. But it's good that you've got different members of a herd facing different directions. So that you can hopefully spot a lion coming towards them. Though it's a pity there are no lions here because it would be a great opportunity for them. The long grass, the very still day and the soft breeze. I think the lions would have a great chance at catching a buffalo. But sadly no cats for us just yet. This is the biggest herd I think I've seen since I've been here at Wild Earth. There must be about, I guess at about 50, maybe 60 buffalo. Like I said, it is difficult for you to see because they are sitting in the grass. And there are quite a few of them even behind one of the shrubs that is sort of limiting our view at the moment. This herd is made up of many, many different members from female to males, of course, to little ones, to juveniles. Lots of dominant bulls in this herd that they fight amongst each other for mating rights with the females. And that's something also that's quite impressive is to see two buffalo bulls bashing heads. It's almost like a, a gunshot when they do clash heads, those massive bosses, which will help protect them. It's like a helmet, really. My goodness, there's a couple of them that are really, they've just decided, no, we're not doing anything. A couple of them are lying completely flat on their sides, which is very risky to go into a deep sleep when you are something like a buffalo high up on the lion's menu. And, of course, all the ox peckers you can see flying from bovid to bovid and now if we were able to get closer it would actually be quite nice I'm sure there would be some yellow billed ox peckers well Stephen you've said is this the first breeding herd to return possibly I think they've come in from the Kruger and they've just moved through cheetah plains and then popped on to to uh, Mala Mala perhaps they'll come back this afternoon you know you never know with breeding herds there are lots of lions that linger in Mala Mala, so if they do push further north, these buffalo will just come racing on back to this side, which would be quite nice to perhaps come and have a look at this afternoon. You never know what plans might change in the bush.